Hi everybody. In this video, I'm gonna explain how Servius provide remote protection against DDoS attacks. Secondly, I'm gonna talk about the redundancy, how, how you make this protection redundant. At the end, I'm gonna talk about some technical points. Let's start. Uh, this is our first data center in Dronto. And this is the second in Nepal. And let's say here your infrastructure or network. You have here your router. And here our routers in both data center. Our protection cloud is a layer before the routers protection cloud. And basically you have here also uh, one of more uplinks and BGP session with your ISP. Now, what does Servius actually do? Uh, now, to be able to be able to to filter the incoming traffic to you, we have to receive the incoming traffic. So the incoming traffic should pass through our networks first, be cleaned, and sent back to your network. Uh, while the out, the outgoing traffic, it's always going to the internet through your ISP. Now, what does Xervarius actually? we create a BG, uh, a jury tunnel between our router and your router and inside that jury tunnel we set up bgp session now uh, basically you have uh, prefixes let's say you have uh, a 22 slash 22 and by the way, uh, if you uh, if uh, if you want to use this uh, protection, remote protection, you should have your own autonomous system. So uh, basically, you announce your prefix to your ISP, so it's reachable from the internet. Now, to let the traffic come comes only via our network, you have to you have uh, to follow uh, uh, one of three ways. The first one, because if you if you uh, just announce it to Servarius and announce it to your ISP, so the incoming traffic will come partially to our network, but still you are receiving from another BGB, from another uh, way, the traffic from the internet. So uh, we have to let the old incoming traffic comes through us. So uh, you, the first one, so the first way, you stop announce those prefixes to your ISP and you announce it only through our BGP. So the incoming traffic comes only uh, through us. So the first one here is stop announced. The second, you can actually, uh, uh, if you don't like and you don't want to stop announce your prefix to your ISP in case of this uh, BGP, for example, uh, down, you can uh, play with the BGP prepend prepend in order to make the, the path uh, longer to, through your ISP than the path through our network. And the third one is like less and more specific. Uh, for example, if you have prefix 22 slash 22, you can announce that uh, prefix to your ISP and announce through Servarius the less, or sorry, the more specific uh, uh, prefixes like slash 23 or slash 24. So in case uh, uh, anything happened to this uh, BGB session, uh, if it's down, for example, uh, then 
the root of slash 24 will be removed from the BGB tables and your prefix is still reachable via your announcement of the uh, list specific. Uh, now, let's talk about the redundancy actually. As you see, we have two uh, data centers. In each data center, we have many routers. So we are able to create more than one GRE actually from uh, one location or from even different locations to your, for example, if you have one router, then you can uh, create GRE tunnel from your router to both, uh, to, to two of our routers, or maybe you have more than one router. So you would have more GRE. We allow till four GRE tunnel per client. In this case, you have a redundant protection. But if we talk about the level of uh, uh, our protection, actually, we, we have redundant, but it's not high available. For example, if one site of Cerverus totally uh, uh, went down, uh, our, engineer, our engineer should interact in order to uh, reroute the traffic from the first to the second data center to be clean. So you would have a, a little bit uh, downtime. Uh, last point I want to, to, to explain here. <coughs> uh, if you use this method to protect your uh, pro uh, infrastructure or network, you would maybe uh, face some issue like MTU issue. Why MTU issue uh, could be happen? Now, let's say you have here one uh, server. which is under protection and want to communicate like with another server. As you know, the outgoing traffic goes directly through your ISP to the internet. So it never goes to Cerverius. And when this server, the protected server, want to communicate with another server, he sends traffic directly. And this server will not be aware of the Jiri tunnel, and he will think that there is a direct connection, not direct connection, like uh, 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 there is no uh, encapsulation. There is, he will not be aware of the Jiri encapsulation, and and Jiri encapsulation add more uh, uh, bits on the uh, packet actually. That's why sometimes when our system receive packet. And after adding the jury uh, uh, information, it become more than 1,500. In this case, the packet somewhere will be dropped. Now, to solve this problem, you have to sit on your ISP interface and not the jury tunnel interface. On your ISP interface, you have to set the maximum MSS two one four three six. In this case, you will avoid uh, such problem. And another thing, with the, when you want to configure the jury and the BGB, because it's not uh, directly connected or point-to-point -point connection, you have to increase the BGP multi-hub to thirty. I hope that you could enjoy the video. Thanks.